stupid questions. I, I took a bowling class in high school. Okay, so it is it awesome. so is it a sport? Well, it was part of PE. We okay. took a bus to the bowling alley. Well, what about something like cherry pit spitting? That is not a sport. That's just a, is a that food event. Is that a sport? There's is no that way. That's sport? dumb. That's a dumb question, <laughs> man. So Welcome to the Only Stupid Questions podcast, where we ask the questions that may be too stupid to ask. I'm Brandon. I'm Bobby. And I'm Matt. Only Stupid Questions. Well, welcome back to Only Stupid Questions podcast. Guys, we just got done bowling. How are you feeling? Oh, yeah, that wasn't my best outing for sure. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I used to be able to break 200 pretty easy in my prime. Wow. I haven't been bowling a lot in the last while. Well, I've clearly lost my edge. I guess you could say I dropped the ball. Many times. Literally, like Multiple we times. started calling the move the mat. Yeah, it, it yeah. bounced down the th- alley. I did the mat. Times. It it bounced. But I'm gonna uh, blame it on. I have just apparently gargantuan hands for the bowling manly alleys because yeah. there's not a single ball in that place that correctly fits my hand. I don't think my hands are that big, but apparently people with big thumbs. Don't do a lot of bowling. You got it. So either I'm going to have to break down and buy my own ball that they drill custom holes. You got or issues. Or just accept sucking. Join the bowling league out there in Raleigh? I don't know. What, or what find you, a different what sport. I mean, it does, it's not all about bowling. You can do something else. I mean, I guess the argument would be if I did the like spinny ball thing where you don't actually put your fingers what I do. Yeah. fully in. Yeah, that's Me what I too. do. I've tried that before. I I don't know. I can't learn that trick. Just, yeah. Clearly, I can't do it either. Huh. <laughs> the lane today was a little grippy, guys. The The ball would really, really curve, and then it would grip at the end and shoot right up into the pins. So, it was fun. It was fun. It was, it was fun. fun. The other thing I don't like about bowling alleys now, though, is they got all those fancy lights and stuff. Because mm. really, to bowl correctly, you're supposed to be looking at the lines and the directions. And with all those blue lights and stuff, I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of hard to see those yeah, directional they, arrows. They tried to make it into a uh, hip and trendy lounge yeah. type. Yeah, a nice bowling alley. You had train playing in the background, inspiring Matt to do better. I mean, it was it was that was my one strike. It was a decent environment. You're welcome, Soul Sister. Mm-hmm. You did improve through the two games. Yeah. I did. Yeah, you slowly. Did. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, what a what a sport that is, right? Totally. I, I took a bowling class in high school. Okay, so it is it awesome. so is it a sport? Well, it was part of PE. We okay. took a bus to the bowling alley. I, I would consider it a sport. Yeah. It's offered as a college course, I believe. Hmm. It's like in the recreation. And I took golf area. in college for my credit. Yeah, I think that's a sport. I did too. Most people golf. consider that a sport. Okay. You can watch bowling on ESPN. Yes, you can. It, it's fairly mainstream, especially on Sundays. Uh, you can see. I remember watching Pete Weber Jr. take, so it, you, t- take it to the house. Do you feel like bowling has kind of lost its sportiness over the years? Because like when I was a kid, every bowling alley had their leagues. People were on teams. They had custom shirts made. It was a bigger deal in the Midwest where I grew up. Yeah, I think they still do that, but yeah. it's just maybe not to the degree it was. I okay. feel like it's lower key. There's less people that are getting on a bowling league. Right. And I, I feel like the bowling alleys cater more to the kid birthday parties mm. yep. and more <laughs> casual yeah. type bowling. Yeah, and, and yet in some circles, there's still league nights. There's still high, oh, yeah, high totally. participation. So It I, just doesn't feel like it's as big of a deal as it was when I was a kid. Like when the movie, did you guys ever watch the movie Kingpin? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. That was a big deal. Yeah, yeah, again, they used to make bowling movies. Um, any, yeah, yeah, I think. Maybe you're right. Maybe we can look up some numbers on that. Is bowling getting more or less popular? But, okay, so you guys do consider it a sport. Well, what about something like cherry pit spitting? That is not a sport. That's just a, is a that food event. a sport? There's is no that way. That's sport? dumb. That's a dumb question, Matt. That's so stupid. <laughs> That's a stupid. Of course it is. 
I it's, mean, if you're just be. gonna go eat cherries and spit out the seed, that's just consuming food because who's no, eating? No, it's the, no, it's I'm the going the other part. way. I'm you going know? the other way. The then. spitting part. Yeah, you can launch those seeds yeah. a long way. I think it's a sport. I don't it know. takes a little bit of talent. So, Matt, you've asked the question: Is it really a sport? I think if it requires a little bit of talent, there's some talent. and effort and ability. Yeah, but is everything that takes talent and ability now a sport? Well, no, but I think like you if could I can draw a really good picture that takes talent and ability, is that now a sport? <laughs> Maybe. No, the reason I brought that one drawing? up is cherry spitting is uh, it's been aired on ESPN before. For those of you uh, aware of obscure sports broadcasting, ESPN the Ocho, <laughs> it's a joke that came from the movie Dodgeball. Mm-hmm where they air obscure sports and it actually, they ended up following through with it and creating a channel called the Ocho. You can go to abc.com right now. And the Ocho is an unlocked channel that you can stream at any time. You don't have Wonderful. to have a, you don't have to subscribe or log in like tonight. For example, they'll show the foosball world championship from 2019. Okay. But foosball is a sport. Okay. I agree. Go back to this cherry spitting thing. I'm cherry spitting. So do you do you turn as you're spitting it to give you some uh, you extra? Can, right. Stuff? Yeah. You do or, have to stay behind a line. Okay. And do you have to eat the cherry, or do they have these? They've pitted all the cherries, and they just give you the pit. Does someone else spit out? No, no. no. <laughs> you, you know when you pit a cherry, you use a cherry pitter. Yeah. Do you, do they just have you a bowl full of cherry I, pits? I think you lose all the strategy if they don't have to eat the cherry. Oh, I'm with okay. you. I think you got to be able to eat the cherry. Yeah, and this. But then by the end of the competition, do you have the runs like no other? Maybe. Cherries or maybe. fiber. There's some good fiber. <laughs> now I, w- I was made aware regular. of. Yeah, I was <laughs> made aware of this growing up in Michigan. Cherries are a big deal, especially up north in Traverse City, Upper Lower Peninsula. Uh, they have cherry festivals. Did you say peninsula. Peninsula again. again. I, okay. I'm going to continue to say that. Peninsula, um, folks. Uh, no. Nope, nope, it's not. So, what's the world record for a uh, cherry pit spit? What do you think? I don't know, like 10 feet. No, I'm going to say, like, because I can probably, I can easily get 10 feet. I could probably get 20 feet. I'm going to say. You think you could spit a cherry pit? Guaranteed. I'm going to say. So, let me, let me I'm give gonna you say this. 45 feet. So, the pit of a cherry is very small. It's about the size of a front tooth. I don't know why that's what they compared it to. <laughs> it's very slippery when first removed from the cherry. So, they, they do remove it from the cherry. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the record cherry spit from 2004, you're not going to believe this, 93 and a half feet. Oh, no. They. <laughs> Need to get a better measuring tape. There, I would like to meet the person that can spit that, a cherry seed. That's impressive. Plus. That was a Guinness Book verified spit. Were they standing at the top of a cliff and spitting it down? <laughs> we don't. We don't have many. They of those lose some them. elevation too. <laughs> there is no way the cherry seed weighs what? Like, well, do they not even arc? an ounce? Do they consider the arc of it? Like, if you spit, no, the you, thing they up can't in the measure the arc. It has to be linear. Yeah, well, uh, look, this happened. Gravity would overtake <laughs> this seed. This happens at the National Cherry Festival, Upper Lower Peninsula. There you go. Thank you. In Traverse City, Michigan. So th- this was a big deal growing up. We'd hear about these cherry festivals and the things they do. 93 feet. That I'm all for a good festival. Woo. All for the good food. And sure, have your fun and games. You know, spitting your cherry seeds. This is not a sport. That's pretty awesome. Now, they, Whatever they, it is. they even the playing field in most competitions. A contestant is provided a cherry that is similar to their competitors to prevent cheating or pit tampering. Okay. How do they know the seed oh, inside man. is the same size unless they open up they, the they can, they cherry? Can, they can grow these things pretty consistently. And I, you can look. I mean, by the outside, you can kind of judge the seed. Can you? I don't know. I've seen oh, yeah. I've got a cherry tree. bigger cherry seeds inside. That, that cherry record is unbelievable that the, the most get it on video the most recent attempts are in the 70 to 80 feet range wow. and so his his 93 and a half feet are uh, pretty impressive that might what be a kind record of strategy goes into getting that leverage i mean you've got to run up to the line can like you your- they can't move their feet no running starts and they are they're using the upper body to kind of <laughs> i think after this we need to go check 
see how far we can get it. You have cherries that we can do this I with, have right? Okay. Yeah, I'm all for it. We may not be completely right. We should right, probably but... film it. We should probably film it. Here's okay. the other thing. These guys do not look sporty. No, there's there's a mix. It kind of like bowling, right? How many right? feet do you think yeah, you I can guess. get? Oh, so that's it, guys. We're gonna let's guess right now how many feet you well, think you, have you a can giant spit. Tongue, so I bet that tongue is gonna just lap that thing out forty feet. I I I think I can get forty feet. <laughs> you really do? I do. Oh, 40 feet. That's a long, a long way. way. That's a long way. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm good for about eight feet. You okay. can do better than eight feet. I don't know. I'm because th- I, I I measure everything in my life with basketball. And what, so I'm, whatever you get, I guarantee I can get longer. I think <laughs> uh, like a free throw in basketball is 15 feet. So that's free how I, that's how I measure everything in my life is you in make 15, free 15 foot increments. I think I could double that and get 30. Ooh. I'm going to say 30. 30 final answer. I think I can well, do wait. it. Wait. Okay. Hold on. Do you count the roll? Ah, do you? Let's look at the I don't think you can count the roll, and I don't think a cherry pit's going to roll much. Well, what they're if not it like perfectly round. If they're doing it on concrete, it might roll. Okay, here we go. So each contestant picks three cherries out, three. Of, a, out of a bucket, okay. so they're picking their own. They take the best of three. They chew. They are required to chew okay, so they around eat the cherry. The so cherry anyone who's allergic to cherries is... They stand with their feet against a line and spit the cherry seed as far as they can in front of them. They get three attempts. Uh, multiple categories, including adult male, female categories, as well as youth. Um, Do males have see. an advantage over females in spitting out cherries? Males or mels? Mel's. What? what is <laughs> <laughs> Milk <Males>? or milk? <laughs> um, no. They have 60 seconds. They even have rules on the temperatures of the cherries. What? They, they have to be between 55 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So does a cold cherry give you more of an advantage? Or, or a warm one. I don't know. Again, they're looking for consistency. <laughs> it's um, a lot they have 60 seconds to chew the meat off of the cherry is what they say they here. Meat? They call it the meat. Leaving only the pit. Vegans are ticked off right now that they call it the meat. Um Stand well, with their feet against the line. That's me. This competition is the pits. I do not see any. Maybe it, it, it counts as far as how far they roll. Maybe that's why they do it on concrete. Let's see. If that's the case, I could probably get 90 feet. Yeah, but then you got to look at the Especially quality of the concrete. like Because really smooth, like epoxied concrete would be way better than yeah. just a rough parking lot concrete. Like tarmac, black tarmac would be cherry holy cow i think it's um, got to be where it just hits yeah how do we do it though like how do we because we're going to do this people we are going to do cherry a spitting. we will execute a cherry spitting competition I'm, I'm still here thinking i'm maybe eight to ten feet okay so after we do it will you can do you, are you open to considering it a real sport no. after participating in it no are we gonna say the hot dog eating contest yes sport? that's next that is not a sport either. That is such a sport. That's gluttony. Uh, it's a sport. It takes I'm training. Go it takes one. dedication. You got to expand okay. your stomach. Kobayashi had to stuff. retire. The- I went to college and had to do study training stuff. Does that make that a sport? I'm done with you. That That's such a Maybe. dumb take. So for some people, <laughs> going to school is a sport. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's a sport. Yeah. For some people, academic. dating is a sport. Dating could be a sport. Just saying. Um, no, school's not a sport, right? Well, if you use your <laughs> definition from a few moments ago, it is. All right. Uh, how about some of these other... Uh, do you guys know any other obscure sports? So, again, I, I mentioned ESPN 8, the Ocho, for everybody to check out. Once in a while, they'll air it on, on real ESPN at least a couple times a year. I, I was able to break down an entire day's worth. I was really bored one Saturday, and I just watched it from morning to night, made some notes. There were some crazy sports. Uh, so cherry, cherry pit spitting stuck out to me. Have you guys found any ones that... Uh... Well, what about pickleball? It's okay. kind of a big deal around here. Pickleball has become mainstream. Yeah. So I don't think we could call it obscure, but it is a sport that maybe not everybody's aware of. It's kind of gained in popularity. It's it's huge. Kind of sweeping the nation. Uh, just coming here to your home, yeah. I saw two houses who built their own yeah, pickleball, pickleball courts. Pickleball courts. True. So I don't think there's any <clears throat> dispute on pickleball being a sport. Okay. But I will say hardcore tennis players are Hate not it. 
happy. Yeah. They because yeah. They think it's it, fake. It, well, recreation centers across the country are basically taking the tennis courts converting. and converting them to pickleball courts. They take up less real estate. They get more pickleball courts out there. Um, but pickleball is less competitive than tennis. And there's a guy I work with that he is livid. I've never talked about tennis or pickleball more in my life than with my friend Charlie. Hmm. He is not a fan of pickleball. Not a fan. I do prefer tennis, personally. Yeah. But I get the appeal of pickleball. Tennis is going to take a lot more I get of your it. physical energy. I, but I definitely get it. If, if I had to choose, I would choose racquetball. And they're okay, not that, building racquetball we ask, anymore. We ask Bobby Coke or Pepsi, and he says Dr. Pepper, which is well, now... Hey, if you could put a racket which in is your now, hand, they're all the same. Well, Dr. Pepper is now the second most popular soda as of this week. Yeah. got to bring you shuttlecocks, That's though. The yeah, you got to get some badminton going. Badminton also uses awesome. a... Now, what about something a little bit more obscure that might be a little bit more up? Maybe one of your alleys here. Uh-oh. Are you, Are you familiar with Microsoft Excel? Yeah, I love Microsoft Excel. It's Me not too. a sport. They hold an Excel World Championship every year, and I, it blows my mind. It I is stumbled excellent. across it, I think, on ESPN <laughs> one night, and I was I may have blown shot it. away. I may have shot it to you to you watch. May have. Yeah, yeah. I have been referred to as an Excel wizard by a few people. Yeah, I'd agree. I wouldn't consider myself competing with anyone Ooh, in a sport. Those guys are unreal. Yeah. Like, They're fast. I went and... Well, they're fast. They're smart. The screen. Is I would consider just them more like computer program flashing. type stuff. Right, right, right. Not a sport. But yeah, they do have people. That it's a real thing. Excel, Microsoft Excel World Championships. It's an um, excellent idea. Right, right. See, for me to think it's a sport, you've got to exert yourself physically. Excel does not do that. They sweat. Well, they they're drinking Red know. Bull. They're sweating. That that ain't <laughs> because of the you physical exertion. <laughs> It might be because of the heat in the room. It might be because they're stressed. So how about esports? Yeah. Is esports a sport? No, it's okay. not. Okay. And I've had this argument with my son actually. Sure, sure. Okay. My son is convinced esports is a sport and would consider himself an athlete. And I'm like, no, you're not. You haven't left the couch. <laughs> That's not a sport. He's like, yeah, but they have esports competitions. Still not a sport. Uh, He's like, but it's a competition. You can have a competition without it being a sport. Is any video game a sport? No, it's reenacting a sport. Okay. Okay, we tennis. That's kind of a sport. But you're reenacting tennis physically, so you get that physical exertion. Have you seen those guys that reenact? Like, they do yeah. the, the Wii tennis, yeah, but yeah. like they're doing it literally, like yeah. out there on a tennis court, reenacting it. It's yeah. funny. It is funny. You know, the Wii didn't get the credit it deserves. It's still a hot item. But they don't even make like the real Wii right anymore. Really? Why not? They moved to the Nintendo Switch. Really? Mm. Yeah, we like we have that. two Wiis in our house, and we we use them every week. Almost. They're fun. It's just they yeah. like it's great. Do they even sell them brand new anymore? No. No, no, no idea. they don't. Like, you got to get a used one. I they had don't. fun with the Wii. They're great. Okay. Maybe we've started a, a debate here with some of the people listening. Um, okay, let's let's go a little bit more obscure. So we've, we've hit on some eSports and some Excel. What about ferret legging? Okay, so you got to explain this one. <laughs> you heard of that? <laughs> no. Only what you told me earlier. <laughs> ferret Ferret legging. legging. It's an endurance test or stunt in which ferrets are trapped in trousers worn by a participant. Oh, my gosh. Now, do you need to wear, like, some leggings between the trouser? Or is this ferret running up and down your skin? I think it's just... It's got free reign. Free reign. Yeah, I ain't doing it. Yeah, I don't see why you would, but it's apparently What if a ferret bites you? Well, it's part of the game. I can't imagine the ferrets happy being put in your trousers. Yeah, it doesn't seem fair. It... Unbelievable. Not fair at all. I'm going to say no. Not a sport. Not for you? Not a sport. The coal coal miners in Yorkshire, England will uh, disagree with you. That's where it originated. Let's stay in England then. Okay. And let's talk about the Cooper's Hill cheese rolling competition. Now, rolling the cheese up into a ball or rolling the cheese This is a wheel of cheese that they roll down a hill. You you guys have seen seen this, haven't you? For sure. I've never seen cheese. Highlights? It's unbelievable, Bob. 
they roll a cheese down the hill see how far and they they send dozens of people down and this hill is so steep it's it's amazing people don't die chasing this wheel of cheese it's that cheese un- is expensive. Unbelievable. Those big wheels of cheese. Oh, like, yeah. Why would you potentially damage your Parmesan? Well, maybe it's a already uh, you know, moldy cheese or something. It's maybe a... The factory provides... It's a, is even better. So it's a seven, know, seven to nine pound round of double Gloucester cheese. Mm, Gloucester. Sounds like Gloucester. stuff you'd want to roll no, down a hill. Gloucester, like a hard cheese. Gloucester, like it is. It is. It's yeah. not like a brie that's soft. Yep, high speeds. Um, these people, there's broken legs almost every heat. I mean, these people okay, are going so crazy. The part of it, yeah. I would say, as a sport, is the running and chasing. This is nuts. The act of the no, cheese, cheese, I nuts. think, is suspect, but. <laughs> it, it's. Okay, I'll I'll say that the the uh, running absolutely is crazy like yeah, and the, these people train year round. They show up in this one spot, Cooper's Hill. So this is in England, England. But what part of England? It was Let's just go with uh, Yorkshire. It was. It's actually called Gloucester, England. Oh yeah, there you go. They um, named it after the cheese. Yeah, or the other way around. The cheese was named after the place. <laughs> yeah. Is that I, where they started I, making I, that cheese? I feel like you should youtube some highlights and i think you would agree it's a sport i think they should make that an olympic sport it almost feels like it should be it should be i mean if you're running and chasing that's sporty yeah and they are putting their lives on the line that's not cheesy at all it's nuts and cheesy and glue chestery okay now would i participate in said cheese (laughs) no No. i I would participate i would i would be a camera guy or something unbelievable i'd love to be a camera guy yeah well, something's happening, so... No, it's my father. If he calls and you decline his call, he just calls back. Oh, no! So, Sorry, I just declined man. it again. Guaranteed he's going to call Sorry, again. Sorry, Dad. Sorry. <laughs> if he calls again, we'll bring him on live. <laughs> okay. I'm live on the <laughs> Stupid Questions Podcast. Yeah. We're talking about obscure sports. What, yes. what would he pick? Um, For obscure? Yeah. I I don't know that he's... You know which one I think... He's aware of what? Have, have you guys heard of skidjoring? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Now I so don't majority. know. My people, my people. Okay. I mean, he's kind of like been sheltered in his life, so okay. I don't know if he knows about skidjoring. It, it's. I think all old ranchers and farmers are fully aware of it. He may. Okay. We've never. I don't know that we've. Got, well, no, no. Never, I take that back. Have you skied behind? We a horse? did not call it skidjoring when I was a child. That okay. was a new term to me a few years ago when we were. Talking about Olympic sports, but yes, I have done snow skiing behind a horse on our ranch. So you've done it. You, you've gotten in touch with your Nordic ancestry then. Yeah. Because that's a big deal there. Uh, just this last uh, winter, they shut down an entire block of Salt Lake City and set up a skidjoring course. It's and definitely people, a, yeah. a sport. I do think it's cruel to do it in downtown Salt Lake City. I those agree. Horses. They do it out in the country. Out the country. They, they typically sure. do it up at Soldier Hollow, Park City. Yeah. But this time they, they brought it down to the people to try and drum up or drum up, <laughs> drum some, up. some business for the sport. Yeah, I thought it was cool. They they seem to have kept everybody safe. They put enough snow on the street um, to make it safe-ish, I guess. So I, I would call that one a sport. If, if, you, sure. if you think skiing it's is a sport. A sport. Well, well, skiing is definitely a sport. I, there's I no question. Skip joins even more dangerous. So Yeah, there's there's sport. And that water skiing would be the same concept. That's sporty. Yeah. So Nice. Any other? So I've got so many different sports here. We, we don't even have time there's to, a bunch. to touch I mean, them. You heard about this man versus horse marathon? No. Explain. The Tw- horse is going to win every time. Well, I guess not. They need some breaks. It's, tw- it's 22 miles. Right, right. Okay. And so it's kind of like the tortoise and the hare, you know? Right. Like you got the slow and steady that wins the race. Yeah. That's the human, right, yeah. for 22 miles. And then the horse is kind of the sprinter, but then loses interest. Now, does the horse have a rider keeping them directed? No. No rider. Yeah, then I can see the human winning because the horse is going to be like, what are we doing this for? Is somebody chasing me? Is there food at the end? The horses are not invincible. They do need... Yeah, a breather. I have some rest. Yeah, you're not married with horses. You've seen well, and they don't know English, so do they even know yeah. what they're competing in? I don't know. How, yeah. would, you, how would you communicate with a horse? Well, I would just talk to him, but okay. does he understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Mr. Ed, come on. 
I mean, I talk to the frogs in my driveway most every night, mm. and I don't think they know English. They might, though. You never know. Are there frogs? No, because if he did, he would have got out of my garage the other night. Instead, I'm chasing around with a snow shovel, trying to coerce him out of my garage. Is it a bullfrog? I don't know. It's like it's, it's a toad, for sure. It's like that big. You get a lot of those? You get a ton of them. <laughs> Tons. I talk to them, and they freeze. They ask, like, you can't see them. So yeah. Are and there, they don't move. I'm like, any, I yeah. can see you. <laughs> Are there any bullfrogs in this room right now, Bobby, that you can see? Uh, no, Jeremiah is not here. Okay. Do you see a bullfrog? No, nope, just making sure. But yeah. you're not hallucinating. No, no, they're okay. real. They're real. <laughs> they're real toads. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, something that a frog might compete in, or or be witness to. Uh, this is something I witnessed on the Ocho last year. Is rock skipping. Rock skipping is. A you sport. are is that a sport? it. Guaranteed. All right. I don't think it's super sporty, but yeah, I mean, you got to have a little bit of skill. You're throwing it like a ball. I you thought, gotta pick a right rock, all that stuff. I thought yeah. that would be my bathroom break, but I, I found myself watching every minute of it. It was weird. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's like, can the next guy go further? They have so much strategy that you're just not aware of. As well, and you got to get a certain number of bounces in. There's a, there's a competition, there's a, a category where you bring your own rock. And then there's a category where you have to use a river rock from the place that you're at. And these guys get that thing to skip 50, 60 times. It's the most unbelievable thing. I, yeah. Anyway. I, 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 I've never been good at skipping I rocks. could not stop watching it. What about the one-legged butt-kicking contest? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not a sport. That's oh, discipline. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> no way. What? <laughs> you know, you, you've all heard it. Oh, so is this a person with one leg? Stop. And they're don't kicking you, someone else or kicking themselves? Don't you remember, like, your parent where something would be like, yeah, something about a one-legged butt-kicking yeah, contest? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Like, there's no way that's a That's not a real sport. No uh, some of the other things I saw in the Ocho is the super scooters races. So they're these souped up scooters that you might see, like a lime or a bird scooter from downtown. Yeah. And they soup them up yeah, F1 not? style. That's unbelievable. All right, here's a fun <laughs> one on this list. Is this a sport? Hairiest back. Oh, that's uh, definitely a sport. Who has the most hair on their back? <laughs> How is that even <laughs> on this list of sports? Oh, it's because kind of weird, but that's weird. You have nothing to do with it. That's like but, nature. But on ESPN and the show, they had a mullet contest, a legit mullet contest. Okay, so who's winning, the barber or the person with the mullet? It's the people who sport the mullet, oh, right? Not so it's, it's just it's more of a beauty contest, right? You, you show up already beauty. done up. So the hair on the back thing, I, wow. I don't know. This is, so Harry's back competitions are becoming a popular halftime battle at major sporting events. Okay. It's still not a sport, but that would be kind of entertaining at halftime. Like which of these fans has the hairiest back and whoever does gets like front row tickets. Wow. Still not a sport. That's unreal. Yeah. More of a contest. Now the, the sport that I fell in love with the most that day was built sander drag racing that's pretty awesome have you seen that still not a sport no, but that was that not a awesome. sport do you guys know the belt sander so people at yeah. home a sander obviously we're working with wood here we're trying to make it smooth this is a, a contraption that has a belt of sandpaper mm -hmm. and it rotates this sandpaper to make your wood smooth. really fast and it does it yeah so, uh, these things are pretty powerful and so people will soup them up like they would an RC car. Plug them in, they hit the power switch, and these things take off down a drag strip. It's the craziest thing. So the popular thing to do is to put like a vacuum engine in these things, like a Dyson or a... Still not a sport. It's crazy. I... But like NASCAR racing. Is NAS okay. I also don't really consider that so much a sport because I drive a car too. Those are athletes <laughs> though. They... How about pro wrestling? Yes. Yeah, pro wrestling yeah, is a sport. It's more of a sport than most sports. I think there's in more my, entertainment in opinion, in into opinion. it, but I wrestled in high school. That's a sport, and that's what it's based on. But pro wrestling. Uh, not, no, not wrestling. Pro wrestling. Pro wrestling. Are, wrestling in high school. They've just taken some different. liberties. They have they? But they're some yeah. of the craziest athletes on earth. Yeah. They. I think they are absolute sport. Athletes. Based on the outfit they're wearing, that's a sport. I'm going to say no. 
Okay. I don't think it is. I think you'll get some disagreements mm. on that. Probably. From this guy <laughs> and from those guys yeah, and gals. It's all about the <laughs> It's just a soap opera, basically. But it's, it's pretty nuts how many different sports there are. Um, some of the more <laughs> mainstream sports that I watch that, that aren't mainstream here, Australian Rules Football. Have you ever seen one of those matches? No. Absolute chaos. Is it? Madness. It's on at 2 in the morning, usually. And You've intrigued me. It's unbelievable. Look. And a lot of those guys are coming over here and playing professional football here, especially as kickers and punters, mm -hmm. FYI. Because everybody has to run, everybody has to kick. It's pretty entertaining. Just throwing it out there. Cricket? You guys watch cricket? No. I hear cricket. But, but are they in the room right now? No. Oh. There's some people that I work with that apparently are like championship right? cricket players. We gotta get to know cricket that. is a sport. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's they have wall full the of jerseys and it's all that. It's the most watched sport in the world, yeah. technically, um, right there with soccer. So you're right, though. We 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 know, yeah, cricket enthusiasts and athletes. Uh huh. For mm -hmm. sure. Um, like sometimes you'll see on a conference call just a wall of cricket trophies. Wow. Nice. Uh, yeah, those guys it's are serious. It's a big yeah, deal. Big deal. Yeah, you know, you get out of the U.S. and yeah, mm -hmm. I think Crook is popular. Yeah. I don't know that it's super popular here. I think it's becoming more and Yeah, more it goes popular. like World Cup soccer, Olympics, cricket. Like, mm -hmm. those are your... <laughs> it's, but I, I still don't know the rules. So I, I think we need to talk to somebody. I'm not really sure either. Well, right. here's a sport that explains why the dwarf on Sleeping Beauty was so grumpy. Have you guys heard of this sport? It's dwarf throwing. Oh, that's awesome. I'd be grumpy if they threw me too. <laughs> Would you? Do you think that's a legit sport? I mean, if you're it's putting a team list. effort to win something, would you it really just, feel bad if you were getting thrown? It feels mean. It feels... Why? So, the sport of dwarf throwing okay. had a short, though popular, history in. in the north of Australia. <laughs> we can. It's history. It's in Australia. It was a short history, but it was popular. Oh, it's a short history. I'm reading it straight from here. Okay. And this is not like a funny website I'm on. It's official. So, as far as we know, it was stopped following because there were some complaints from some sections of society. What? I wonder why. Why would they complain? Well, maybe the dwarves I'm complaining. were complaining. <laughs> I mean, how would you feel if people were like, you're kind of short, I'm going to see how far I can throw you. Um, but oh. according to this article, apparently the dwarfs did not mind at all. The competition required the dwarf to be placed in a harness <laughs> for ease of throwing. So it's got to be consensual. <laughs> yeah, it's consensual. Ease of throwing. Yeah. No. So for the ease of throwing, no. and a soft landing place was erected. The winner was based on distance thrown. Please note, no. we do not encourage the throwing of dwarfs <laughs> without their full consent. Oh my God. Are they allowed? To, uh, this seems short-sighted. I am not saying that this is a good sport anybody should do, um, but we're talking about sports. Now, do we think this is a sport? Now, if it's per from the perspective of the fully consenting dwarf, maybe it is a sport. Are they, are they, yeah. Because they've got to become aerodynamic yeah. to fly and better they're, they're and sure. land. And they're probably paying attention to their weight if they consistently... Like guarantee. a jockey, right? Yep, yep, yep. Now, is that a sport? No. Horse racing for the just jackets? Riding a horse. Well, they're just riding me. they got to kick. There's a lot of movement. And they have to train year-round. And they have to wear really tight clothes. They starve themselves. They, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think that's a sport. No, well, maybe that's a Especially sport. a sport for the horse. Especially. Because they're running. Especially. Especially. I think we need to participate in one of these sports right now. I think dwarf throwing is <laughs> okay. the one. All I know is you I know some small children. <laughs> I'm the tallest one here. I'm not going. We need to find a, a dwarf and interview <laughs> them about this. I don't think in today's society any of them would be a fan of this. No! And the people of Australia should be appalled. No, yeah! Even though this was part of a short part of their history. We're cutting yeah. this out, man. We're not talking dwarf. I don't think we need no to cut way. this out. No, no way. We're not saying it's right. We're saying it's it happened. <laughs> Because well, we, if we don't teach people about this, how will they ask. know not to do it again in the future? Okay. Well, then have that attitude towards it. That's the attitude I'm taking. <laughs> I said it was a short history. These poor people, man. I, 
they're people, is what they are. They definitely are. Yeah, but you might as well use your features to your advantage, right? No, I mean, I jockeys don't. capitalize on their smallness. Right. I'm just saying. I like, couldn't be a jockey. Nope, me you need a darn big horse to carry me in And run. I'm sure if we found a large enough man, I could be tossed. So I... I don't know if I would consent to it, but for the right amount of money, I would. Yeah. Okay. If it's a paid <clears throat> position. I'm probably a little person or a dwarf, too. Andre the Giant? Somebody like an Andre the Giant, yeah. Uh, I think he might toss you. Oh, I think he If he would. were alive, R.I.P. Mm -hmm. Andre. Yeah. Rip, 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 rip. Um, I, I want to become an athlete right now. Are you guys ready to go compete? I'm yeah, ready. Let's get some cherries. Bro, we got to do it. We're going to film it. I'm ready. Let's do it. I, okay, I, I seriously think I can make 30 feet. I don't think so. I don't think so. 30 feet is a long way. A long what way. have you been doing with your mouth to practice spitting Guys, cherries 30 trained, feet? I've you been know. training for this my whole life. I but think I can do it. The tongue might give him an advantage. I'm just saying. I, well, just because it stretches out a foot on its own. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's a foot advantage. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be spitting in front of your neighbors, and they're gonna probably wonder what we're doing. And I welcome that. So, okay. Well, thank you. I, and again, there's so there's hundreds of other sports that we didn't even get to hit. So we'd love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite obscure sports that you're aware of, or maybe? After listening to this episode, you decided to go Google it and, and find it. We'd love to hear. Maybe we'll do a second episode, and I'll brag about how I won the Cherry Spitting Contest of Caseville. Hey, thanks for listening to the Only Stupid Questions podcast. Give us a like and a subscribe. Please leave a review wherever you listen to your podcast. Only Stupid Questions. Rolling counts. As long as it stays within the lines of the spit court. So we got to set up the spit court. This is going down. All right. Thanks yeah, for the spit court. Thanks for finding that. We're going to go set up a spit court, and this is it. Welcome, friends, to the inaugural Mountain West Cherry Pit Spitting Contest. I'm your host, Chip Seedshot. First up, from the distant land of North Carolina, USA, give it up for Bobby B. As you can see, Bobby has a very unique warm-up routine. He's moving. He's grooving. He is now preparing to spit his first cherry pit. Let's watch him go. Oh, we have a false start. He regains his composure. Let's the pit fly down the course. Traveling towards our official scorekeeper, she spots the pit. A decent first attempt by Bobby B. He'll want to improve on that. Moving forward, here comes his second attempt. He is currently clearing the meat, as they call it, from the cherry itself exposing just the pit to be launched down the course. He is now being heckled by a fellow competitor. Looking to get into his head, Bobby sets up. He leans back and lets the pit fly. Ooh. He's going to want that one back. The crowd does not approve. Attempt number three on the way. He is now stretching the upper body. But who are we to judge the routine of Bobby B? Swinging his arms as if he's Michael Phelps, about to jump into the pool. Here he goes. He sets up for his third attempt. Leans back, lets the pit fly down the course. A much, much better attempt this time. It looks to be north of 30 feet, but we'll wait until the official measurement happens a little bit later in the competition. Now, our second competitor, Brandon G. from Michigan, USA, but currently training in the West Desert of Utah. He sets up for his first attempt, strikes a pose. 
Let's hear from some of the other competitors on the time limit that has been given for this event. I feel like 60 seconds is excessive. It's a long time, but you gotta get that seed, uh, you know, all soft. Make sure you get that stretching in. 40 seconds. You heard it from the competitors. Each participant is given 60 seconds per cherry, three cherries each, to prepare the pit to be spit. Here goes his attempt. Down the course, towards our scorekeeper. And the crowd goes mild. A great attempt by Brandon G. North of 30 feet once again. Let's go to our competitors once again for some more thoughts on attempt number two. Look at that chew pattern. Looking intense as he prepares for an epic launch of the cherry pit. Folks, Brandon means business as he steps up to the green line with 30, well, 30 seconds remaining on the timer. Brandon gets set. Folks, he's got the eye of the tiger. Eye of the tiger indeed. Second attempt on the way. The crowd says it all. A poor well, second that's attempt. Like negative feet if you swallow it. And he almost swallows his third attempt. That would have been a disaster for the competition, for him and his body. Let's hear a little bit more as he prepares for his final attempt. <laughs> Interesting attempt. We apologize. Where, where'd that go? The crowd once again says it all. A poor attempt. Moving on to our final competitor, Matt P., the hometown kid out of Kaysville, Utah, USA. Will he have a home court advantage? We'll see. He has placed the cherry in his mouth and begun the process of preparing the pit to be spit. What's this? He is engaged in hat backwards. Got to be more aerodynamic. A more aerodynamic approach for the hometown kid. We'll see if it pays off. Attempt number one on the way. That pit went tumbling down the course for an amazing first attempt. Measurements to come. Matt now prepares for attempt number two. The stakes do not get any bigger than this. The story does not get any better than this as well. It's amazing what men will do instead of talk about their feelings. Attempt number two on the way. Attempt number two down the court. Another solid launch. Matt is on fire today. He is now preparing for his final attempt, clearing once again the cherry from the pit. He steps up to the line. Using a left foot in front of the other approach, lets the final attempt fly down the course towards our scorekeeper. Another solid performance from Matt B. Now that all competitors have spit their pits, the measurements can begin. And as a reminder, each competitor had three attempts. The course master marked the longest attempt from each competitor on the pavement. We will first be looking at the longest attempt by Matt. Let's see how he did. So, 39 and three inches, 39 feet, three inches. Is that right? Yeah. 39 feet, three inches for me. That's pretty good. And you then, could compete. Indeed he could and indeed he did. All of Matt's attempts were 30 feet or longer. A solid performance. All right, so be 36 and at nine inches. 36 feet, nine inches. 
A solid performance from Bobby, but not quite enough to edge out the hometown kid. Now on to our final competitor, measurement for Brandon G. So we have 39. Oh, wow. 40, 41, or no, 39 feet, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 39 wow. feet, 10 two inches. inches short from 40. Two inches short of 40. But you are the victor. And there you have it, folks, the end of our Mountain West Cherry Pit Spitting Contest 2024. Brandon Edges, Matt, for this year's title. Shown here, just for context, we are now mapping out the course unofficially to show what the competitors' attempts look like compared to the world record. All right, there's 93 feet. That's the world record. That's the ways. Absolutely shocking. We thank all of you for joining us for the 2024 Mountain West Cherry Pit Spitting Contest. We look forward to seeing you next year. Until then, happy spitting. <laughs>